60 seconds. Free stroke, French grip. 60 second unison, 60 seconds alternated. Hi guys, so this week I want to talk about the arm motion which uh, is made from the upstroke and downstroke motion of course which are molar motions and I think the arm motion is a very important uh, thing that people don't really pay too much attention to but it's uh, fundamental for everything uh, we do really because um, for example when we start to play um, last beat or single strokes or whatever the motion that we do is something like this so our motion and then we control the rest of the strokes with wrist or finger or push pull or whatever you know we, we're, we're working on to have a weekly workout to um, work on this we can of course start um, understanding how our body reacts everybody's different so my hand reacts in this way some other people might have shorter fingers longer fingers longer arm shorter arm everybody's different so analyze and feel your body and understand the feeling that you you have when you do this kind of motion for a second for a minute dedicate a minute to feel what happens in your body when you do this and then recreate the same feeling with holding the stick and you will feel the difference this is very important because the stick has to be an it's like something that um, it's part of us and it's not an extra we don't have to deal with the stick it doesn't have to be something that we have to pay attention to it should be part of, of us it, it shouldn't change it shouldn't be different the feeling that we have from doing it without the sticks to having the stick of course it's gonna be slightly different but it's not it doesn't have to be like oh yeah I have to keep my hand in that way in the position because this because of the stick okay so it's gonna be the same thing we have to just pay attention that we don't drop the stick and the rest is just adapting and letting adapting our body to what the stick wants to do these are all very important concepts for what's gonna follow up guys so um, Pay, pay attention and, and, and don't think this is like, yeah, I got this, uh, I can go to the next lesson. Work on this because when you get to a certain speed, this might be what blocks you, this might be what stops everything. So the weekly workout is going to be um, playing 60 seconds per hand, German grip, single strokes, um, accepting the rebound and then stopping the stick and then restarting everything pay attention to not lose the don't leave the hand too loose, don't leave the stick too free or don't choke it okay 60 seconds with our left hand 60 second unison Then we will play a free stroke arm motion with 60 seconds with our right hand. Keeping the same concept in mind. Don't, don't speed up. It's not about speed, it's about controlling the rebound in this episode. So don't think of speeding up that's wrong it's not taking you anywhere it's not the focus of, of the exercise then we do the same thing with French grip sixty second right hand sixty second left hand sixty second unison sixty seconds Free stroke, French grip. 60 second unison, 
60 seconds alternated. So again, 60 seconds right hand, 60 seconds left hand, 60 seconds unison of a German grip of the single stroke and then blocking the, the strokes. Then 60 seconds right hand, 60 seconds left hand, 60 seconds unison, 60 seconds alternated for the free stroke motion. Um, free stroke motion. So Then same thing applied to French grip. So in this way we're going to benefit um, different things. We're going to learn how to direct the stick in a vertical way, in a vertical motion, straight to the snare without having weird motions, weird directions. We're going to learn how to accept the rebound and so to um, take advantage of the injection motion and the injector stroke that will allow us then to um, take advantage of the rebound for all the other strokes and to how to hold this, the stick in our hand too because this will force us to keep the hand relaxed and uh, so adapt to the stick motion. So once again, this is very important for all that we're going to do next. <clears throat> don't, um, don't think this is not as important as um, putting your BPM click, your click track to 260 BPMs because you won't get there unless you don't first fix everything that happens here. The injection motion, injector motion is the most important thing to pay attention to is 80%, 70% of drummers uh, problems most of the time for the blast beats and single strokes and all those kind of things. So have a good uh, week practicing and we'll see you next week. Hey there, if you're liking the videos that I'm uploading, you should check these videos on jamespaindrums.com in which I upload a more in-depth version of the videos with multicam views, PDFs so that you have everything written down and you don't have to always memorize everything. There's gonna be polynome playlist where I've basically created playlists that you can um, follow, speed up, slow down, just play one part of whatever I'm playing, just the snare, just the bass drum, and it's all through an app so you can take it on your phone with you in your um, practice room and coaching videos, which means you will have my voice reminding you what to focus on, either in balance on your right hand, on your left foot, based on where you are in the exercises, so that it's like if I'm gonna be there with you in the room while you're practicing. So there's gonna be a bunch of extra content there that might help you out practicing and improving faster.